people don't realize, but when even when Hawaii was a sovereign nation, you know, and it was a kingdom mm. uh, before they had the quote unquote, it was a, it was a, it was a coup. It wasn't a real overthrow, but it was a, you know, a non a nonviolent type coup. But there were soldiers that came in, and they actually, for I think it was about a year, they kept Queen Liliuokalani there in Washington Palace that I showed right. you the big white house. So she house. was under house arrest. Was she? Yeah, she was under house arrest, which was really tragic because the Hawaiian people love the missionaries. They love, they adopted their ways and everything. Yeah. But it's a very interesting. I'll, I'll tell you the name of the book to read. It'll give you along with. But actually, Michener does a good job of talking about you know the overthrow of the monarchy in Hawaii, the peaceful overthrow, blah, 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 even though they used soldiers. But anyway, um, now we're in Waikiki. But anyway, so early on, we had military bases here. Early, yeah. early on. The Second World because, War. Because, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then prior to the Second World, leading up to, like, I think it probably started in the maybe 20s even, but certainly the 30s and 40s, we started sending a lot of troops over here. And then, of course, certainly during the 30s, they started in getting ready to fortify the islands. So no matter where you go on this island, there are, we call them gun, gun uh, they're basically... Uh, uh, Tunnets, what are they called? Gun. Uh, what do they call them? Uh, they're sort of to watch over, aren't yeah, they? Well, yeah, well, it's where you put the big guns. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know what like, you're talking about. Just like, you know, the Germans were killing us with in Normandy. You know, it was basically, those are all over, and there are a lot of hikes where you can hike up to right, them and see right. the old gun in the... I think it's tunnet or, um, or, or sounds like that. Um, but anyway, and then... Turret. The, turret. The, uh, no, turrets are on ships. Oh, okay. Yeah, for gun, gun, ba gun battle stations on ships. But anyway, now this is the heart of Waikiki right here. And there's a big controversy because they're going to tear down this international marketplace, which has been oh, here looks forever. Very nice. And they're going to replace it with a more state-of-the-art type thing. Mm. But anyway... Uh, you don't know it, but what the military did, because of the value, they recognized, the Americans realized early, early on the value of Pearl Harbor, because it's the most incredible harbor in the world, you know. Is a it way. a deep harbor? It's a deep harbor, but it has a long, skinny entrance, which oh, was the so boon good. and the bane, because the boon was, is it's incredibly protected, so all the American warships were in here, not mm. dreaming they would ever be attacked, that you may be that audacious, but they used that, the, that's what the Japanese did. And of course, the problem was, is see, the battleships could not get out, because when the Japanese, that was the plan mm. for the Japanese, if you see the movie Pearl Harbor, it tells all about that. And that was the plan, they could attack, a surprise attack, come in, sink our entire navy and then they would have and they would have beat it us beat us beaten us because militarily and commercially people don't realize and i forget who the quote was i don't know if it was john paul jones or who but you know the quote is he who controls the seas controls the world and that is what made britain so incredibly powerful to be such a small nation because they had this incredible navy yeah and fleet and that was why Hawaii was so important because once Japan started get, becoming so powerful and became so militaristic, this is one of the original hotels in Waikiki. I love it. They have high oh, tea in the afternoon <laughs> during World War II. This hotel and the uh, hotel that we just, the Royal Hawaiian, which you couldn't really see. Yeah. But they were the only two hotels in Waikiki during World War II. Right. When my stepdad came here in the Navy during World War II, these were the only two hotels that were here. So they're the original. They're the, they're original, the original ones. Mm -hmm. And they've kept them, you know. The rooms are very, uh, uh, they're real. They're still real small, you know, and, and certainly by today's standards and everything. So this is sort of still an active military this base. Was, this was, Waikiki was a swamp in swamp. the old days, mm -hmm. yeah. There were pig farmers and taro growers down here. This was considered a swamp. And when they said they were going to try to make it a tourist destination, the local people thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Well, they wouldn't be thinking that now, and would this they? Is this, <laughs> yeah, this is the f famous, which you can't, can't see, see because of the construction. Cars. 
but this is Waikiki Beach. Oh, this is the famous Waikiki Beach. But you know what? The local people use it more than the tourists because, mm. see, in the in the summer summertime, the surfing is here. In the winter time, the surfing is on the north is, shore. Is the surfing very good? Like, is Hawaii is oh, known for its oh surf, my isn't God. it? Yes, yes. Oh, let's, let's see if we can get incredible. So can now you look at it like see out there today it's like a lake yeah, nice. because see it's winter time and in the winter we don't get waves from this famous shore. We'll have periodic there be waves in the but for the most part it's just you know. Yeah it's very popular isn't it? But in the summer now this is where all even the professional surfers come to surf. Right. We get higher surf. You get good swells. Mm -hmm. well, that's interesting. But now we get in fact, we just had last week 25 and 30 foot waves on the north shore. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't do, mind seeing that. They do what the Eddie cow, they do the Eddie cow, and they won't hold the Eddie cow unless the waves are 30 feet high. 30 feet these, high. These are the big borders. These are the big, yeah. big time servers. And that's, again, the beauty of being out in the middle of the yeah, Pacific Ocean. Yeah, there's paddle borders out there. That's kind of a sport that's kind of taking over. Yeah. A surfy chick. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Right, I was going to show you the Duke Kahanamoku's statue, but uh, this is where, of course, the famous Duke Kahanamoku worked as a beach boy. Beach boys? Yeah, we just had another one of the original beach boys pass away last week. Wow. It was so sad. Mm -hmm. I've known him for years. He was really? Great, yeah, he still yeah. surfed. He's in, he was 97. Gosh. And the last what time I heard guy. from him, he was still surfing. Yeah. Far out. <laughs>